A lot of people ask me this question, Danish, if I become IT support after that, what should I do? Now, I usually tell people that you should at least spend six months in this field so you can work with other engineers and you're going to be able to see a lot of different tickets from, let's say, systems administration, networking, cybersecurity, DevOps, and many other things that if your company is large enough, you're going to experience that. But if your company is very small and they just only give you a very specific task that let's say you're the IT support and then they give you one specific thing that you're just resetting passwords repetitively, then this is why I'd say six months. So whatever you can learn from that company and you should move on to another company or look for another job. If you're working for a large company and you are experiencing many different type of tickets, then maybe you should spend more time because that company may give you more opportunities because they may have more, uh, you know, pathways for you and you should talk to your manager, whichever you likes from those tickets. Now, the question usually is very common. A lot of people are like, okay, how do I study uh, to move up? Because at the end of the day, I still have to learn the skills by myself in most cases. So I usually tell people the next stage or the next step when you become an IT support, you should really focus on networking, okay? And when I say networking, I'm not talking about Cisco networking like routing and switching. I'm just talking about the core networking, core services, and these are usually called like, you know, let's say IP, DNS, DHCP, domain networks right and some of these main areas because this could be something that you could do like say network plus certification which is vendor uh, you know uh, neutral or, or you can take the training with us and usually in our networking courses we do this with hands-on stuff so this is very important area and it's probably the most important area after IT support regardless of what you want to target because once you learn this and you have some experience then at this point you're more comfortable and when i say ip dns dhcp i'm not talking about just you knowing the terms i'm talking about implementation of ip so you will touch some cisco uh, routers and switches in this dns servers dhcp ser microsoft server domain you're going to do active directory stuff so you're going to have a good understanding of what this is actually and then after this you're going to know your uh, the, the area that you love. So let's say you like GUI, you like more of like controlling things, user, password, policies, and stuff like that. So naturally, you're going to focus towards becoming a sysadmin. So this is where you're going to do a lot of server stuff or hybrid sysadmin because this sysadmin could be also now touching Azure and other cloud services that, that modern sysadmins are using. So you may really like this area, which is actually really cool and hot area these days, and they can make a lot of money. OK, so you may say, OK, no, I don't like this GUI stuff. I purely like networking. And that is where then you need to target the Cisco side or any other areas that you know networking is being used heavily and that's routers switches and anything that has to do with knock and you may be getting into this uh, you know doing this remotely or whatever it is but you will definitely love the non GUI side of this because this is going to be a lot of networking uh, in this area that's another good positions but usually a lot of people are like thinking about their future now and in this area is a little bit of question mark for me because not a lot of students are actually even asking for this is this area so now, another area after this is, of course, the cloud administration, which is really hot, you know, cloud admin. And this could lead you to become more of an Azure area or AWS. And that also can lead to later on DevOps, right? So it has a lot of potential because this, when you become a sysadmin, you are going to start touching cloud, even at the IT support level, you're doing a little bit of cloud things like you're adding users in the cloud, Microsoft 365 and all that stuff. But when it comes to configuration and more of like, you know, applications deployment these days and, you know, security, we are using cloud. So there's a lot of things going on in this area. So naturally, a lot of sysadmins who, if you, they are working on premises sysadmin, they're going to become this, this individual right here. Okay, after this, of course, we got cybersecurity, which is a huge domain. I mean, cybersecurity, if if you knew, the reason I'm sharing all of this, these are all advanced, meaning you're going to decide this after you know this. And that's the reason why I'm pointing this more than anything else, 
Because if you're comfortable with this, you're comfort comfortable here, you're comfortable over here, you're comfortable over here, you're comfortable over here. Anything that's technical in IT, you're going to be comfortable at that level. So go with IT support first. That's something we do hands-on in our platform. And I'm gonna showcase that in a uh, you know screen uh, screenshots or like a video after this. You should watch that. And then there's another course we call it transitioning skills. This is transitioning, okay? This should be transitioning, network plus, whatever you wanna call this, IP, DNS. If it covers the, the hands-on, if your program covers the hands-on area for networking, that's transition because it's broad it, it can be used anywhere in your IT career so you got to learn this somehow in one course or a program whatever you want to use it and once you get better at that you can really tackle all of these positions right here it's really your choice after that if you want to go deeper into these you can even go like you know at the, at the very high level and make a lot of money in these areas but this is the more high paying areas right here okay this is the comfort this is this, this makes you comfortable in IT this makes you do different type of roles all in one role that's the comfort right there this is the starting point and that's also should be very practical with us and with your company and everything so because everything has to be a sequence over here a lot of people what they do they become as IT support and so I want to become a cyber security without skipping the networking and when I say networking, I'm not talking about Cisco again, this stuff. When you skip that, how are you going to do uh, Active Directory stuff? Even in, at the cybersecurity level, we heavily use Active Directory for companies. We know when they go in, they have to do all this scanning and everything. They use all this stuff. And if you don't know domain, DHCP, DNS, how are you going to do any of these? These these are all, all of these positions are going to touch projects under these main services and networking and the basic level. So start with this, but do it practically and you can do that with us then do this practically with us if you want to use us and then of course target uh, a more advanced roadmaps with us again these are also covered by us but if you don't want to do it with us find the company provider services courses whatever you can it has to be practical you cannot none of this stuff can happen with theories and just talking and the youtube is full of it if you want to do that but this has to be very practical so that's how i i usually look at it overall of course, you can go a lot deeper and we can go a lot deeper into this, but this is an overall picture. Now we are going to discuss how to start your training in JSS platform, Job Skills Share. We have been running this platform for the past 10 years and we have worked with almost every type of role that we have discussed in our first video. So if you want to talk to someone individually, you can go ahead and book the meeting. There are actually recorded meetings on this page. You can actually watch that as well. But the easy way to get started in JSS is through the membership. Membership is very powerful, uh, and this is a very hands-on access compared to any other platform. We do a lot of job-specific training, and in that, we also add a lot of lab support. So we recommend the premium membership because it comes with all labs. If you have your own labs and you feel like you can do things by yourself, uh, you can still utilize our light membership. We also have free membership for people who just want to learn IT support and they have their own home labs, they can certainly try the free membership as well. So go ahead and get the recommended membership, which is premium and log in. Once you log in on the left side as a premium member, you should utilize roadmaps. Roadmaps is an easy way for you to get started in IT. So the first roadmap, which is called Modern IT Support Career, is going to take care of IT support, job tier one, tier two, anything that is under IT support, desktop support, user support technician, these are all the same jobs. And you're going to start this roadmap by clicking a start button right here. And here you see that you have a step-by-step -step courses. So this is course one with all the labs inside this course. Then we have two, course three, course four, and five. And if when you complete this, Think of this as a full program in college. So when you complete it, it's going to take you two to three months. It's going to be very practical. You're going to be, uh, you know, learning operating system, hands-on, basic networking, DNS, DHCP at the very basic level. So you understand you if there's an issue with DNS, DHCP, you know that you can fix it on the computer level. Or if it's above that, you will know, you will understand because you know the uh, the te technical terms and the, the skills behind it and you can assign it to somebody else and then of course we we work on the new modern technologies like you know office 365 and the well-known uh, technologies that companies are using like active directories these services are very 
uh, common. So, and then after that, of course, you need to know about the communication skills. And then last uh, option is you need to work on your resume. As you can see, when you get into the course, it's very practical. It's step by step. We have made this for that reason that people don't get like this is just a video content it's not it's very very hands-on so if you come over here you're going to learn about the whole career introduction there's a lab tour so once you uh you know get to this course make sure to uh, cover the lab information how to access the lab how to open the lab how to open these systems where to get the support and you see it it starts from what is like that's the, the basic stuff and then it gets to more technical stuff like operating system operational stuff resume project in there and then it goes to more lab content which we have created videos so a lot of time when somebody's new to it and they're doing lab and then they get stuck because they're watching documentation it gets a little annoying for and i understand that when when people are new that's natural so we created videos for each and every exercise it's really the most powerful thing we have done because it takes so much time to create videos on labs, but we have done it for you. So you don't need to take stress over here. You, there's no way you can get get like, you know, that feeling that I will, uh, I'm stuck or anything like that because you can watch a video and you can go back to the lab and perform the lab. And that, that way you can finish everything. Now, we also discussed that if you finished IT support and you want to get more advanced because in it support there's tier two tier three positions you can actually start a new advanced uh, roadmap but if you want to move up from it support as we discussed in the video early on this is what we have talked about that networking is is basically a transitioning skills you need to understand that dns dhcp not a just like like you know terminology now you have to actually know what it is how to implement it and once you finish this transition skills course it actually will prepare you for a junior sysadmin and a junior network admin positions that's really powerful course in this platform and after that you can specialize into a specific area if you want to become a sysadmin for servers you can take this if you want to become a cloud administrator you can do this you can do aws you can do azure you can do hybrid systems administration, you can do cybersecurity, you can do a specific Cisco network engineer. So you see everything has its own roadmap. Keep in mind that it requires passion, dedication, time commitment, your mindset to finish something like this, which is very, very hands-on. This is for serious people. This is not for someone who just kind of play around with different, you know, courses, jump from one course to another course, quickly jump into another thing. They will find it hard to, to finish all this stuff. So it's for the IT professionals who are really uh, serious. They want to have less stress at work. They want to grow in this career quickly. They want to make more money and be able to do that job happily, not with stress. So go ahead and join JobSkillShare as a premium member. And if you want a step more than this, let's say you want someone to guide you, then on the website, we have coaching services for each program. So if you feel like this is not something you can do all by yourself, then go ahead and consider coaching. Coaching is also 100% self-paced, but then you will have an individual who's always watching you, helping you, and giving you references. And it's, it's, it's a person, it's an individual who is an expert in this field, giving his or her time for you. So that's coaching. And that's not included in me membership. You have to pay extra for each program. Thank you so much.